got my block back from the machine shop and the first thing I'm going to say about this is you want to check their work. Um, I had it bored out 30 over, honed to size to fit the pistons, the basic block package, which is cam bearings and all that. It had the, uh, the deck surface redone. You can see they took off a minimum. I had to do this because there was some corrosion around the cylinders and I want to have a good seal with the head gasket. And there's a lot of questions about the crack in this block. The crack was from this cooling passage to this head bolt boss. It's a hairline crack right there. And what they did is they put a lock and stitch insert in there. And I actually borrowed one from the machine shop so we could take a look at that. There it is up close. You can see the uh, outside thread has a sharp angle on it that when the head bolt tightens, you can actually draw the metal around it together. The cylinder bore is checked out with the uh, spec out clearance for the pistons. The next thing you want to do is check out your cam bearings. Make sure they get all your holes lined up. Alright, going to jump right into a modification with this engine. I'm installing oil restrictors. You can see I've sent one home there. What that does is it restricts oil flow to the cam bearings. Here's one ready to be installed. I will be putting some Loctite on the knurled portion of the threads. I noticed that when I drilled the first one in, a, a bunch of aluminum shavings were raised, so I vacuumed them out. In a car application, you want to send the restrictor home in the 2, 3, and 4 bearing saddles. But in a marine application, you want to send them home in the 1, 2, 3, and 4 bearing saddles. I'm now going to set up the bearings to match the oil restrictors. We're going to drill out the oiling hole on the top half with the 1, 2, 3, and 4 bearing shells, and we're going to be elongating the 2 and 4 bearing shell holes. And this, this looks dangerous. Sure you, you want some gloves? You want a bad I get that? I did. Mm. Okay. Mint. <laughs> oh my god, was that dangerous. I'm now going to go ahead and elongate the hole in the two and four bearings with my die grinder. We're now going to go ahead and chamfer and deburr the two bearings. We actually deburr all four that we drilled, but uh, chamfer and deburr these two that are elongated. I'm now going to go ahead and set the bearing shelves in their respective places and know that I'm not going to put anything on the back of the bearing shell when I stick it in there. The rear main uh, bearing shell, make sure you put the hole towards the black side. The elongated bearing shells are going to go in the two and four positions. One and three were opened up, but not elongated. You're probably wondering where I got all this information now. This is all the Mandelo tech manual. We figure he, he's blown up enough engines that he knows what he's doing. So we're going by his instruction.